Okay, uh, we're still talking about touch controls. Let's look at a slightly more advanced subject. Quite a few people have emailed me and asked me how they can get uh, very specific pixel sizes on their controls depending on what device they're running on. And uh, as I began to look into implementing the functionality to provide that for you, uh, I realized that anything I provide is just not going to be quite sufficient uh, unless I give absolute full control to you to determine what size the thing should be and where they should be placed, etc., etc. So what I've done is I've exposed the properties of uh, basically everything on all of the touch controls and you can access them uh, and modify them with your own component attached to the control. So I'm going to leave the logic completely up to you on how to determine the size and you can modify the size and the placement and uh, even whether it's uh, percent or pixel sized uh, pretty much at runtime uh, and size it dynamically frame by frame if you prefer. Uh, so I'll give you a quick example of that. I'm just going to take this uh, touch button control here. Again, let's just run it so that you can see it in action briefly. We see here the green A button and of course I can uh, click it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just take this control modifier script here and attach it to the control. So you can see here just the control modifier script. And uh, let's take a quick look at this script. Um, it's extremely simple. Um, what it does is here in the beginning, it just grabs the touch button control uh, target um, and then modifies it. And at first here, we're just going to set it to uh, 128 uh, pixel size. We, we change the target button. Um, and this is a, a sprite, a touch sprite type um, provided by InControl. And uh, so it basically we set the unit type to pixels and we set the size. Uh, and what that's going to do is just grab down here, if you look at sprites button, uh, it's going to set basically set this percent to pixels and set the size here. And so uh, when I run this, we should get a sprite that is exactly 128 pixels uh, all the time. Uh, if I turn the gizmos off, you can see it there. Uh, and if I resize the screen, it's going to stay at 128 pixels. And um, that's exactly the behavior that we need. Okay. Uh, of course, just setting it to a specific size there is not too useful. You could just do that here. But of course, you could add logic to de determine what device you're running on uh, and set it specifically for the device or for some devices and not for others. Um, the other thing you can do is if you really want to do, you could add some runtime animation. I don't necessarily recommend you doing this, but just to demonstrate that uh, this level of flexibility is there. Um, we're just going to pulse the size of the button based on a sine, sine wave calculation here. Um, let's run that and see what happens. And you'll see here the button is, uh, is just pulsing in size. But you have control over all of the properties provided here. You can change the sprites out if you like. If you'd like to have different sprites, pixel perfect sprites uh, for your various device screen sizes. Uh, you could modify the options. You could modify the, the anchor and the positioning. Uh, so you have full control over the over the controls um, and how they display on screen. And, uh, and uh, you can determine with your own logic really how you want it sized with uh, the maximum flexibility in your hands. The other thing that people have uh, asked me about quite frequently is how they can enable and disable touch controls based on um, pretty much anything, uh, whether they're running on a certain device or maybe after detecting that a physical controller is plugged in. Um, and again, the control is fully with you. Uh, I've done some work to make sure that the uh, enabled property of the components work properly. Uh, so uh, if you were to toggle them at one time, uh, you can turn off a control and turn it back on and everything will just work properly. The other thing you can do uh, is on the touch manager object here, which is a singleton, so it's accessible uh, from various parts of your project. There is a controls enabled property, which you can just simply toggle and turn off all controls. So again, you have uh, full control over this uh, and the logic is up to you.